to get to the order? Um, I guess I'll start out. Um, <coughs> Main Street continues to improve. Uh, it's always kind of the highlight of, of my for good of the order, but uh, it just every, every day changes. Uh, Shirk Lane has done an amazing job on the um, old law firm there on, on Main Street. I know Glass went into it today. And um, I mean, just every, t every time you drive down there, you think it can't get any better, and it does. So, District 2. Um, shout out to uh, J.P. Sprague and the uh, engineering department. I was a constituent in my district who had some damage on the undercarriage of her car with one of those metal plates, and uh, she was having trouble reaching Miller Pipeline, and uh, she reached out to me, I reached out to him, and they got it settled and got it filed, and uh, she was a happy person. Um, the, um, the, oh, BU, I can't read my notes. Um, BU started back today. I'm sure uh, businesses, like Ryan said, are uh, appreciating that. The uptick in uh, the shot in the arm and, and commerce and um, the, uh, the business that that brings to the community. Um, Culver's and Hucks, and Hucks on 6th Street both poured the, uh, I got the foundation, the concrete foundation for parking lots, so things are moving along really well in that regard. So that's exciting to see those two uh, add on business and brand new business. That's all I have. Uh, Councilman Stengel. Mr. Grohn, I'll uh, mention VU uh, being in session now. Uh, also, the business will probably enjoy getting some employees from there. Um, but I've been kind of keeping everybody updated on the new uh, uh, construction going on in my district. Uh, looks like the new bank at 6 and Vigo, the infrastructure is up, the steel infrastructure. And um, the old uh, Knox County Records Library, they've got the heavy equipment moved in and looks like they might be tearing that down pretty soon. And uh, the state police was busy in my district uh, checking the uh, melon buses this, ap or this afternoon. So that was exciting to watch. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Rowlett. Yeah, I think the uh, German Fest was very <laughs> successful. There's some great food out there, and I appreciate the fact they had the drive through where you, it didn't take long to get served at all, and great food, and uh, I ate plenty. But it, it was very good. Also, uh, speaking of a housing project we just talked about, um, I noticed that uh, the entire, seemed like the entire area there uh, by uh, Eric Avenue, or Eric and 11th, on the, near the cemetery, all those new homes, I believe, are filled up now, and it's a great thing to see the housing that we need so desperately is being used. Awesome. Councilman Lau. All right. Well, I guess uh, my group here is for, uh, you know, the Friday Night Lights. So uh, as uh, Lincoln welcomed in uh, and football on Friday night, this last Friday night, Greg Park was, you know, filled. And so if you, if you think about it, you know, small towns, what do you do? You, you go to the football game on Friday night. You enjoy that time family time you enjoy that opportunity to get together so it was glad to see so many people out and, and uh, not only just using the parks but out enjoying themselves awesome. Awesome. oh i'm up hey uh i just want to kind of highlight one of the local businesses and i hope that some other people join in and what they've been doing um we've been hearing a lot about the employee shortage and i, I mentioned it earlier tonight <clears throat> people saying that nobody wants to work our unemployment rate's pretty low uh, pre-pandemic low. Uh, Procopio's has started highlighting the individuals that are working at his business, talking about how good of employees they are. And, um, and it just goes to show uh, what a difference it can make because I've started seeing some other businesses chime in and talk about how good their employees are and giving employee profiles to the people that are going to work every day and doing the things. And I appreciate it very much. And I hope that we see that as a business trend. Maybe Brian, you could jump I, on that. I think it's a great idea. And, and do that as well at your local business. So that is my good of the order. Real quick, I'll just give a shout out to our new parks director who is doing an amazing job. He is already working with me and he's working on getting the basketball goals replaced, the volleyball nets up. He has been edging the sidewalks in the parks. Good. Uh, he's just doing a lot of great stuff that's uh, probably been overlooked too long, so. That's great. And I hear he's got a lot of ideas. Yes, he does. That's great. And I also want to say, uh, 
it was great. We applied for $250,000 through Okra for the businesses and food pantries, and tonight we gave out $100,000 to our local pantries uh, mm -hmm. that have been hit hard through COVID, so uh, it was exciting to get that money for them. But it also is, we have another 150000 to give out to local businesses, uh, and to date, when we've handed that out, we will have given out 400000 to our businesses. So. Is that a new loan application, or? It's the same loan application, but one sheet has changed. It has to be correct. But they have, they do. Yes, they, they have, have to, to refill they it They just out. can't expect a, a right. check. They so have to come in and fill it So, Mary, in that very positive note, where do they go? Yeah. Do they come into your office, or do they go to Kathy's office? They come to this office. Okay. Is there any place online that they can download that form? City website. City Perfect. website yes. has the form. That's awesome. Great. They've had some compatibility issues. <clears throat> People can't download it for some reason, but if they contact me, I can email it so if you're a business out there and you're listening or watching on facebook please contact the mayor's office they'll be glad to help you and in particular cheryl yeah uh, good, good job mayor okay. thank you if anything else nothing else we just need the motion to adjourn so we are adjourned Tell